सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास सिक्स नमस्ते एंड हेलो टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर निधि सिंह एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्लास सिक्स जोग्रफी टेक्स बुक चैप्टर टू दैट इज ग्लो लैटिट्यूड्स एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स इन द लास्ट चैप्टर वी गॉट टू नो अबाउट द यूनिवर्स गैलेक्सीज सोलर सिस्टम स्टार्स एंड प्लैनेट एक्सट्रा इज इंट इट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस आर डिस्कशन ऑन ग्लोब Have you ever seen a globe? Do you know what it is? Globe is a true model or a miniature form of the earth. It is round in shape with continents and oceans drawn on it. The way they are placed on the earth's surface. It is slightly tilted on its axis the way our earth is. and is also of the shape of a geoid that is a sphere with slightly flattened top and bottom now let us think if we want to mark a point on a ball at a particular point how we will do that we can go round and round all the faces look the same isn't it Similar problem occurs while determining the location of a place on the earth. In order to overcome this problem, human beings have thought of latitudes and longitudes. What are these? Have you ever heard these terms earlier? No need to worry. We will be discussing about these terms in detail. latitudes and longitudes are imaginary lines drawn on the surface of the earth the horizontal lines are known as latitudes whereas the vertical lines are called longitudes this means that latitudes determine the location of any place in north and south directions while longitudes determine the location of any place in east and west directions there are several such horizontal lines or latitudes as well as vertical lines or longitudes on the earth but one thing that needs to be kept in mind here is that by latitudes are always parallel to each other and do not meet each other at any point longitudes are not parallel lines longitudes or the vertical lines meet each other at the top and bottom of the earth that is at the poles all these lines are measured in degrees we will try to know about latitudes and longitudes in more detail now we know that there are several latitudes and longitudes the latitude that passes through horizontally from the middle of the earth is known as the equator this means that equator divides the earth in two equal halves Equator is considered as the most important of all the latitudes. As we move away from the equator towards north, the northernmost part of the earth is the north pole. If we move towards south, the southernmost part of the earth is known as the south pole. Equator is considered as 0 degree while the poles are considered as 90 degrees can you think of why so this is because the distance from the equator to either side of the poles is 1/4 of a circle 
round the earth it will measure 1/4 of 360 degrees that is 90 degree all parallels north of the equator are called north latitudes similarly all parallels south of the equator are called south latitudes for example both chandrapur in maharashtra india and belo horizonte in brazil south america are located on parallels of about 20 degree latitude but the former is 20 degree north of the equator and the latter is 20 degree south of it we therefore say that chandrapur is situated at 20 degree north latitude and belo horizonte is located at 20 degree south latitude apart from equator and both the poles there are few other important latitudes they are first tropic of cancer that is 23 and 1/2 degree north in the northern hemisphere second one is tropic of capricorn which is 23 and 1/2 degree south in the southern hemisphere third one is arctic circle at 66 and 1/2 degree north of the equator fourth one is antarctic circle at 66 and 1/2 degree south of the equator depending on these latitudes and the amount of heat received from the sun the earth can be divided into few important zones first one is torrid zone this zone lies in between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn this area therefore receives the maximum heat and is called the torrid zone the midday sun never shines overhead on any latitude beyond the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn the angle of the sun's rays goes on decreasing towards the poles as such the areas bounded by the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle in the northern hemisphere and the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle in the southern hemisphere have moderate temperatures these are therefore called temperate zones areas lying between the arctic circle and the north pole in the northern hemisphere and the antarctic circle and the south pole in the southern hemisphere are very cold it is because here the sun does not rises much above the horizon therefore its rays are always slanting and provide less heat these are therefore called frigid zones and they are very cold try out a simple activity today at night light a torch and put a paper in front of it first put the paper vertically straight observe the rays of light coming from the torch now tilt the paper slightly backward what do you see you can see the light spreading in a larger area of the paper with slightly lesser intensity all over i hope by doing this you must have been able to understand the amount of heat and light of sun received by the earth in different zones that we discussed apart from latitudes it is important to know more about the longitudes to understand locations on the earth surface 
for example the Tonga Islands in the Pacific Ocean and Mauritius Islands in the Indian Ocean are situated on the same latitude that is 20 degree south now in order to locate them precisely we must find out how far east or west these places are from a given line of reference running from the north pole to the south pole each degree is further divided into minutes and minutes into seconds they are semi circles and the distance between them decreases steadily polewards until it becomes zero at the poles where all the meridians meet the length of latitudes goes on decreasing from equator towards the poles but all longitudes or meridians are of equal length thus it was difficult to number the meridians hence all countries decided that the count should begin from the meridian which passed through greenwich where the british royal observatory is located this meridian is called the prime meridian its value is 0 degree longitude and from it we count 180 degree eastward as well as 180 degree westward the prime meridian and 180 degree meridian divide the earth into two equal halves the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere represented by the letter e and w respectively draw a circle let the meridian divide it into two equal halves color and label the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere similarly draw another circle and let the equator divide it into two halves now color the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere by doing this exercise you will be able to understand how and in what manner the two important parallels and meridians divide the earth into two halves while the prime meridian divides the earth into two equal halves in eastern and western direction and then the equator divides the earth into two equal halves in uh, in northern and southern direction now we will try to understand the relationship between time and the meridians when the prime meridian of greenwich has the sun at the highest point in the sky all the places along this meridian will have midday or noon as the earth rotates from west to east those places east of greenwich will be ahead of greenwich time and those to the west will be behind it the earth rotates 360 degree in about 24 hours which means 15 degree an hour or 1 degree in 4 minutes thus when it is 12 noon at greenwich the time at 15 degree east of greenwich will be 15 into 4 which equals 60 minutes that is 1 hour ahead of greenwich time which means 1 pm but at 15 degree west of greenwich the time will be behind greenwich time by 1 hour that is it will be 11 am similarly at 180 degree it will be midnight when it is 12 noon at 
ਸਕਰੀਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਐਵਰ ਥੌਟ ਵਾਈ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਸਟੈਂਡਰਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਵਾਈ ਕੈਨਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਸੈਪਰੇਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਫॉर ਈਚ ਪਲੇਸ ਦਾ ਲੋਕਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਵਿਚ ਆਰ ਔਨ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਮੈਰੀਡੀਅਨਸ ਇਸ ਬਾਉਂਡ ਟੂ ਡਿਫਰ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕੇਸ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਅ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੇਬਲ ਫॉर ਟ੍ਰੇਨਸ ਵਿਚ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਸੈਵਰਲ ਲੌਂਗੀਟਿਊਡਸ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਫॉर ਇਨਸਟੈਂਸ there will be a difference of about 1 hour and 45 minutes in the local times of dwarka in gujarat that is in west and dibrugarh in assam that is in the east such is the vastness of our country try some exercise take a graph sheet or you can draw a grid of horizontal and vertical lines on your own number these lines vertical and horizontal both mark few dots on it with different colors or write a b c etc on it for identification take another sheet of paper and put random dots on it mark the points as a b c etc as before now try identifying location of each dot in both the sheets what do you find probably it is easier to identify the dots in the first sheet with lines isn't it why so because we have got some reference points in this case lines now you must have understood the importance of latitudes and longitudes in identifying location on the globe and subsequently on the earth surface it is therefore necessary to adopt the local time of some central meridian of a country as the standard time for that country in india the longitude of 82 and 1/2 degree east or 82 degree 30 minutes east is treated as the standard meridian the local time at this meridian is taken as the standard time for the whole country it is known as the indian standard time or ist the longitudinal extent of india is 68 degrees 7 minutes 53 seconds east to 97 degrees 24 minutes and 47 seconds east longitudes this means that the longitudinal extent of india is approximately of 30 degrees do you know try to find out india lies in which of these zones torrid temperate or frigid zones i will give you a clue india is little hot little humid and sometimes it's also cool or cold during the winter season isn't it so what is the climate of india india has a subtropical kind of climate now try to find out where does this country lies in these three zones the latitudinal extent of india that is the north south extent try to look it up in your atlas for your help i will tell you it is almost the same as that of the longitudinal extent think of a country which is larger than that of ours with a great longitudinal extent or the east west extent how they must be managing time let us take the example of russia it has a large longitudinal extent 
it was difficult to decide a single standard time therefore they have adopted more than one standard time there are as many as 11 standard times in russia the earth has been divided into 24 time zones of 1 hour each each zone thus covers 15 degree of longitude it is therefore necessary to adopt the local time of some central meridian of a country as the standard time for that country in india the longitude of 82 and half degree east or 82 degree 30 minutes east is treated as the standard meridian the local time at this meridian is taken as the standard time for the whole country it is known as the indian standard time or ist now you know how to locate a place on the earth surface that is with the help of latitudes and longitudes here we should keep this in mind that these latitudes and longitudes are imaginary lines drawn by the human beings for their own ease and they actually do not exist on the earth surface depending on today's discussion try to find out if you are at 20 degrees east longitude what will be the time at 20 degrees west longitude yes try to do that in this chapter we learned about latitudes and longitudes latitudes are the imaginary lines drawn horizontally whereas longitudes are the vertical lines the former determine north and south directions while the latter determine the east and west directions on the earth surface another important characteristic of latitudes is that they are always parallel the longitudes on the other hand meet each other at the poles that is at the north pole and at the south pole equator is the most important of all latitudes can you name few other important latitudes try recalling now tell me the most important longitude yes it is the prime meridian at the greenwich we also learned that depending on the location on the earth surface and the amount of heat and light received we have different zones while torrid zone which is located nearest to the equator is the warmest the next zones are the temperate zones which are slightly cooler and then frigid zones that lie farther away and they are further cooler it can be noted here that torrid zone extends continuously in the north and south of the equator on the other hand there are two temperate zones and two frigid zones lying in each of the hemispheres that is northern and the southern hemisphere do you know during ancient and even in the medieval times people used to think that these zones have so much influence on the human beings that their behavior is determined by this what do you think was this true <laughs> this was proved wrong later let's do some exercise now try to choose the correct answer after i ask you the questions the first question is the value of the prime meridian is 90 degree 0 degree or 60 degree let us do some exercise 
try to choose the correct answer from the given options i will ask a question and then i will give the choices for you to choose first question is the value of the prime meridian is first 90 degree second 0 degree and third option 60 degree yes it's 0 degree the second option now the second question the frigid zones lies near one the poles second option the equator third option the tropic of cancer can you guess the right answer yes it's the poles that is the first option frigid zone lies near the poles now the third question the total number of longitudes are first 360 second 180 and third 90 now i won't tell you the answer you have to find out and think of yourself the fourth question is the antarctic circle is located in first the northern hemisphere second the southern hemisphere third the eastern hemisphere can you guess yes it's the second choice that is the southern hemisphere the northern counterpart of antarctic circle is known as arctic circle yes very good now the next question grid is a network of first option parallels of latitudes and meridians of longitudes second choice the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn third the north pole and the south pole try find out this answer on your own now let us do another exercise try to complete the sentence that i am saying or fill in the blanks first one is the tropic of capricorn is located at try finding it out second is the standard meridian of india is how much degree third one the zero degree meridian is also known as fourth question is the distance between the longitudes decreases towards poles or equator and the last question is the arctic circle is located in the dash hemisphere northern or southern try finding out the answers of these questions and you will be able to understand the concept in a much better manner try to ponder on few other questions they are what is the true shape of the earth what is a globe what is the latitudinal value of the tropic of cancer what are the three heat zones of the earth what are parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude why does the torrid zone receive maximum amount of heat why is it 5:30 pm in india and 12 noon in london now in this chapter we read about the globe and latitudes and longitudes i hope with the concept that i explained and also with the activities that we did together and the question answer session you must have been able to understand the things in a much better manner and in a proper way in the next chapter we will be coming up with different concepts related to your textbook till then bye CIET NCERT presents to you the curriculum based series Dhwani Shala 
सो फ्रेंड्स यू आर जस्ट लिसनिंग टू दिस सीरीज ध्वनि शाला प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंस मीनाक्षी कुकरेती एंड तनु गुप्ता रिकॉर्डेड बाय बटी लैंग लिंगडो प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय वंदना अरिमर्दन दिस सीरीज वाज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया